Evening all, and um, welcome back to the channel. Um, this week's video is from Carnarfon, and we are going to be photographing that castle behind me, Carnarfon Castle. The sun is just about to set, um, and it's created some lovely colour in the sky. I'm out with Tom O'Neill, Mark Kelly, and Martin Risbridger, and I will link to all their channels down in the description below. Hopefully in about oh half an hour or so we should be getting some really lovely color and we'll be able to uh, take some really nice shots of the castle some really lovely color behind it so uh, stick with us and we'll see how it goes Okay, so I've set my composition up um, with this blue boat down in front of me, sort of just here, the blue boat, and the, the ropes and the chains that are actually leading to the boat, leading from the bottom left-hand corner of the, of the frame. But it's quite dark. It's not a great composition, if I'm honest. This, I'm not really overly happy with it. I've got the bulk of the castle, um, in the center of the frame and I'm hoping that that color is going to come in behind the castle I would love for this for the tide to be in right now that needs to be in it for this shot I think there's some water starting to creep in and it's meant to be high tide here at about 10 o'clock ish hopefully if we're still around then doing some astrophotography then we might get some really nice reflections of the castle. As it stands, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's nice. It's a nice shot of the castle, but um, this foreground really needs to be lit up properly. Um, and it's not, there's no real, no real light there at all. So uh, some light coming on on the castle now, some little lights here and there. So that's gonna be lit up really nicely in, a, in about an hour or so's time. So I think we're going to go for that. Um, I'm going to stop doing this shot. I'm not happy with it at all. Um, and fingers crossed that we get something a little bit later on when it goes really dark and we get some nice lights actually on the car. So I think that's what's going to make this shot um, something to look at. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, next time I speak to you, it'll be a lot darker and we should be getting some really nice lights come on around the castle um, and hopefully get some water in this estuary and get some nice reflections of that so uh, that's what i'm thinking of so i'll come back to you when it's a bit darker a bit more full up with water and hopefully a bit more pleasant to look at okay so starting to get a bit darker now so i put the light on just on the uh, on the gopro the water is starting to come into the estuary as well now, so we're starting to get little glimpses of this reflection that I'm after. Uh, I've just been told that the bridge closes at 11, so I'm not going to be here that late. <laughs> I had visions of the Milky Way being over the top of this castle at one point, but I think that's gone out the window. But the lights are starting to show up quite nicely now on the castle. And I've got a couple of boats in the foreground just to just give me that foreground interest. A little bit more water and we should get a nice reflection with some nice colour and maybe a few stars, who knows. Okay, so it's got really quite dark now and the stars have started to appear in the sky, which is what we wanted. And the estuary is still filling up with water, so uh, fingers crossed we're still going to get this reflection and those stars in the sky. That's the shot I'm after, but you can look over my shoulder there somewhere. But if you can make it out on the video or not. Uh, but the moon has just started to rise, so I'm hoping that the stars. No other way. Yes, you can see the moon. On the uh, <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> right there, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that the moon doesn't actually ruin the stars. I don't think it will. It's actually moving at quite a pace when you see it, when you watch it from here. That is rising fast, isn't it? It's moving, it's really rising quickly, so... Uh, yeah. Didn't bring the long lens, not the long enough lens anyway, put it that way. But it's still nice to witness something like that, so... Uh, so we're still waiting. A little bit darker, a little bit more water. Okay, so the moon's come up and it's causing all sorts of problems with the stars. We're getting a few, getting some nice sort of shots, um, but I think it's only going to get brighter and going to get worse. So uh, I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to put up the shots that I have got um, that I've been taking from this side of the, of the uh, estuary. Plenty more water coming in. And I think there's going to be just a... Um, I'm not sure how much longer we're staying, so... Uh, I keep taking them, put what I've taken, and uh, you let me know what you think down in the comments. Settings for these shots, um, I sort of finished off eight, eight seconds at f4, ISO 400, and ISO 800 to pick up a lot of the stars in the sky. Remember, they're only a guide, so uh, don't take it as gospel if you're trying to take the shots yourself. Um, other than that, if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, if you, I'm out with Tom, Mark and Martin. I'll put all their descriptions down in the, all their, all their channels down in the description rather. So make sure you go and check them out as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>